In this video, we are going to look at different shear height with respect to another variable. You will find this on page 262 in the Namibia IS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. We are going to follow the same rules as the previous videos. We are going to work with the power rule, uh, the constant multiple rule, as well as the addition and subtraction rule. Differentiate height with respect to another variable. For the function, and now look, in the place of y, there's an s, and in the place of x, there's a t. Differentiate height s with respect to t, so not differentiate y with respect to x, we, but we still use that one, and then with respect to this one means to find ds, so we still put that on top and that one at the bottom, by dt. By replacing x with t, the formula d over dx, this, becomes just in the place of x, I just write a t. This same principle is used for all the differentiation rules. So the rules stay exactly the same. It's just that you have to concentrate on the variables and writing it at the correct place. So let's look at an example. Find the derivative dv over dt and there's d of v of v equals and there's t. Now remember, and we were not looking at one like this already, and I'm bringing it in, it's just remember before we can differentiate, we must just multiply that brackets out. So before we differentiate, just multiply the brackets out. You can say the first term square, and then the middle term I find by multiplying the two terms and multiplying by two, and the last term square. Uh, or, or the other way is I can write the two brackets out and I can do long multiplication. Now I can differentiate. And if I differentiate, I will say dv over dt. So v on top by dt at the bottom. And exactly the same, it's just now I'm going to multiply by 2, the index, subtract 1. And then this, um, it's 1 minus 1, it's to the power 0, so it becomes 1, so it's just 12. And a constant always becomes 0. And that's my final answer. So it's exactly the same. Just concentrate on your variables and how you write it. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do the following numbers. It's 1a, f, 2, d, 3a. Okay, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. But let's start. Okay, 1a. Just write it down first, s is equal to, and it's almost like the same, a binomial, okay. So before I'm going to differentiate, I'm just going to multiply it out. Now I like you to follow the short method where I square the first term, and I multiply the two terms with each other, so I'm going to get negative 6t multiplied 2, so it's negative 12t plus, square the last term, 4. And that will now be my start. Okay, now I'm going to differentiate. So write, it's just that one on top, the s. This one, it's 2t at the bottom. And just differentiate. And then I'm getting 18t minus 12. And the constant is just falling away. Easy. And then I will look at number f. So it's very good to do as many as possible of these examples just to practice that first three rules uh, before we continue with more difficult rules. So this is now a again, and this is 2 minus 5t plus 2t to the power of 3 over t squared. Now get it ready again by just taking this denominator and uh, divide it into each numerator. So in this case, uh, I'm going to do it directly in this step, but you can do it on the side, but it's going to be 2t to the power negative 2, okay? So, and this is going to be negative 
five and don't forget that your t will just come up there so because it's one t but it's at the bottom so you just bring it up and then plus two and then it's just t and now it's ready to differentiate now remember it's d a on top and i'm differentiating to t okay so if i multiply i get negative 4 because it's negative 2 times 2 and I subtract 1 and I get negative 3 and I get positive 5 t subtract 1 negative 2 and then just plus 2 and now just my final step so it's negative 4 over t3 plus 5 over t squared plus 2 Okay, that's my final. Easy. Okay, let's do a number two. I'm just going to make space. It's a very good exercise to practice the rules again. Or at least the first three rules. Okay, let's start with number two, D. So now it's the other notation, ft, always good to make sure you can work in both or all the notations. Again, it's that you first go. Now in this one, because there's a square root, I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to show you a little bit more. Because sometimes if you can skip steps always, but just make sure, I'm, I'm showing all the steps, especially for people to follow the video a little bit better. Okay, so in this case, it's actually going to be t2 over t to a half plus t over t to a half. Remember, I'm taking it out of the root. Plus 4 over t to a half okay because if i write it now it's going to be easier so it's in this case it's going to be just two minus that half so there's going to be end up with just um one and a half or three over two so this is going um i think no right right one and a half i think it's easier doesn't matter you can say three over two also okay in this case so it's one minus a half so this is just going to be a half. And then this one, and it's going to just come up and it's going to be negative a half. So okay, now, now I'm going to differentiate. Again, dash, and it's to t. Okay, so don't bring x and y's in now, we are with t. So in this case, I'm just going to say one and a half, and don't forget, and I'm, I'm just going to show you here, so it's going to be one and a half, but it's actually easy, because it's just one and a half minus one, so then it's just going to become a half. A half is left, and then, then this one, the half comes down, and it's going to be t, and this is going to be a half minus one, so it's going to be negative a half. And this is going to be then negative, because 4, you're going to say negative a half times 4, that's going to be negative 2, and then t, so it's going to be negative a half minus 1, or minus 2 over 2, and that's going to be give you negative 3 over 2. Okay. And then I um, can just simplify this, um, I can say 3 over 2, or 1 and a half, doesn't matter. And I'm just bringing it back to the root notation there. Usually, but it's not incorrect to leave it like that. Okay, so in this case, and now don't forget that this, because it's standing on its own, so it's actually in the numerator, so I bring it down, so it then becomes positive in the denominator, and then I'm just taking it back to the root. Okay, and then this one is the same. Now just, just take note. If it comes down, down, because it's on top, then it becomes positive. But if I go to the root, can you still remember the one 
on top is in the inside, the bottom is on the outside. But you don't have to, I'm going to leave out that one. Because it's a square root, we usually don't indicate it's a square root. And that's my final answer. Okay, let's do, is it the last one that I gave you? Only 3a, oh it's nice. So let's just do number 3a. Okay, and that's going to be 3a. And number 3a, we are again in fx notation. Okay, and I gave you this one because it's very important. There's not standing a plus or a minus. So it's one term. You first have to, these two variables must become one. So before you differentiate, I'm taking it first out of the root, always out of the root, and at the end you can go into the root again. So this is, and there's a multiplier, remember. Okay, so what do I do? Great, nine, eight indices, so x, so this is two plus a half, so it's two and a half. Now I'm ready, and I can say I'm going to start to differentiate. So if I do it now, I can just go and say, okay, so because it's a fraction, I just, just to make not mistakes, so say two and a half and x, and I'll show you now, so it's just two and a half minus one. Okay, if you leave it like that. Okay, and now I can just go and say two and a half times six, and what will that be? That will be 15 and then x, and two and a half minus one, it's one and a half. Okay, this is correct. Um, sorry. One and a half. Or somebody could have wrote 50x, three over two. It's it. Or, or, you could have said 15, and I'm taking it back to root form, um, so it's x, three, and there is the two. So that can be also the final answer. Okay, in the next video, we are going to look at the more few challenging differentiation rules.